What's up everybody, Evanyon here with week 1 of Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3 and we just had the week 0 video that I just posted. You know, this first week is still pretty simple challenges, pretty easy. I almost got every single challenge in one run. I just messed up some things and I also couldn't find one of the weapons required for a challenge. But I feel like it's really easy, even easier than the week zero and i also it involves the reality seeds from week zero and i have more information i know exactly how it works now so i'm gonna explain them to you also we still don't have anything like the resistance quest from last season you know maybe they will introduce something next week on tuesday because normally the resistance quest actually come out on tuesday so we'll see, it'll be kind of boring if they only do the weekly. I was kind of enjoying the resistance quest to be honest with you. But we'll have to see. Once again I said week zero the snap tokens that we got from week zero. Uh, we're only gonna get more of them in two weeks. So we're gonna skip a week for some reason. And so this first week we don't have anything. If you want to see the initial snap tokens that release with the season go watch the week zero video you know we got like a lot of them actually but yeah i think that is it as usual as you know probably not uh the way i cover the challenges the quests whatever i try to to show you the the best path that you should take you know the best route where you should land first and where you should go from there the most effective way of doing the, the quests so before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, use code Avignon at the Epic Game Store and the Fortnite item shop. So let's get this thing started. First of all, we are landing at Condo Canyon. We got a challenge to search five chests there or Tilted Towers. Normally Tilted Towers are kind of hectic, you know, so I went to Condo Canyon. You know, obviously with the challenge, people will go to both places, but I still think Condo Canyon It'll be much easier. I got all five in this trap, as you will see here. You know, also, I recommend this building that I I land on. People seem to hate it. I all, Anytime I go to Connor Canyon, I, I land there, and nobody goes there. You know, at least maybe it's just me. But, you know, I get all five chests in there. Also, as you can see, I, I also search ice machines. They count as a, as a chest. And since uh, chests aren't 100% spawning, there is a, another ice machine there that can spawn in this area that I land. But anyway, I got all five. If you need more, obviously you can go to the other locations at Kona Canyon. You also don't need to do everything in one match. You can go to Tilted as well, you know, you do whatever you gotta do. So next up, we're going to try to find a Whiplash at Condo Canyon. So I got lucky. It's not, there's no guarantee that you're gonna get a weak flash here. See if there's one in this area that I go to, or in the residential area, might there might be one. I'm actually, you know, I didn't real, I didn't remember this when I was doing this challenge, but there's a much better way to do this because we not only need a weak flash, we need to modify the weak flash with all off road tires and cow catcher and there's a better way i'm gonna get there eventually but just so you know you know i get the cow catcher here you saw me getting the cow catcher from the red toolbox but i ended up not finding off-road tires you know throughout this whole match i tried going from gas station to gas station to find these off-road tires and i couldn't find it and like i said there's a better way to do this we'll get there though so from here we're going to the airship east of condo canyon in the water so i actually bring the whiplash with me at the seven outpost at the seven outpost there's a a bunch of rifts in there you can use it to fly to the airship in the water we just got an emote in there we need to do that in three different airships this is the first one now from here we're going all the way east of rocky reels to a second airship and we're emoting once again that's the second airship we just need one more now from here we're going to greasy grove 
And you got these mush mushrooms that you bounce off of. And when you bounce off of them, you get 15 health or shield. Since I was at the storm, it didn't have health, I got health. And that is another challenge. You need to gain 10 shield from these mushrooms. Now, I obviously don't get the shield because I need health, but it's still counted. And like I said, it gives you 15 and you need 10. So, you know, you just bounce it once. Uh, you'll find a lot of these mushrooms all over Greasy Grove and in Reality Falls. All, all, this entire west area here that it's uh, all purple, you should find a bunch of these mushrooms. And I think the way the, they work, you can't spam them to get shield. I think they have a timer of 20 seconds maybe. Then you can get another 15 shield, I believe. I didn't try this, but I imagine if you go to different of these mushrooms, you'll get right away you know it's not a timer for different ones it's just a timer for the same one but anyways from here we're going to reality falls and we need to collect free reality seeds now i figured out how you actually find these things so you have these um uh, uh plants i don't know how you call these things as you can see they are on branches branches clearly coming from the reality falls they call it reality tree and you just need to smash them with your pickaxe and a seed is going to come out of it you see me later getting another one and three of those seeds come out of one of these things so i guess it's random the amount you get uh for the actual challenge here we just need to collect three times so just it actually works you pick one up drop it pick it up again drop it pick it up a third time and it counts for the challenge so it's even easier than the other one because the other one you had to plant three of them but yeah i'm gonna show you uh the other locations that these branches uh the these plants are located at the branches they're mostly here around reality falls but there's one kind of random near rave cave and i imagine these branches are gonna be expanding throughout the map so that we can have access to these seeds all over the place. So yeah, we got a, a few of them around Reality Falls. And then there's this random one uh, east of Rave Cave. So you don't have to actually land on Re Reality Falls if you don't want to. Because of the chaos, you can, you can go here to Rave Cave. So just as to explain how the thing works. It has nothing to do with the challenge, but I think it's a good thing to know how it works. I imagine at some point there will be a challenge that requires you to do this. I don't know. It's good to know how this things works. So like I said in the week zero video, I had a 21 hour timer that you can see on the map, right? And the timer is for weeding. So you can see me picking weeds and you need to remove them after you planted the seed and the timer went off it will tell you to remove the weeds it will say now it will be like the next weeding it will be written next weeding now that's when you should go back to your plants and take pick off those weeds and that's what is going to up the rarity so i here I go from rare to epic and you can see i look at the timer i don't know how the timer works i got 21 hours the other time and now here i'm getting five hours apparently so after five hours they're gonna ask me to weed out to pick the weeds once again and it's probably gonna go from epic to legendary and then i can do it again to go from legendary to mythic and so yeah that is how the whole reality sapling works reality plants whatever you just gotta check the map to see if you if you gotta weed it, you know. You, and remember, you can't plant multiple of these things. You know, always the last one you plant will be the one you're going to get on the next match. So from here, I finally found the off tire, the off road tires, and I've put it on the whiplash. So the actual challenge that we were trying to do for this. We need a whiplash with off-road tires and the cow catcher and we need to destroy 50 structures. So it's actually quite a lot. I'm not able to finish them here. 
but again once again I'm, I'm probably gonna get to it the next part I'm gonna show you where is the best spot for you to do this and you can easily do this challenge so like I've been saying the best way for you to do this and get a whiplash with off-road tires and it's a guarantee you get this is on chunker speedway there's always four whiplashes with off-road tires they always spawn in there at chunker speedway now all you need to do is find a cow catcher so here i find a red two box that has a cow catcher try to find around chunker speedway i'm sure there are other uh, red tool boxes you know hopefully you'll find one if if you're having a hard time trying to find a cow catcher you can also talk to the character available on chunker speedway his name is stashed and he sells cow catcher and off-road tires obviously you're not going to need the off-road tires but if you're desperate you can do that and now all we have to do is destroy 50 structures and you here, 50 structure is actually quite a lot. It took me a little longer than I thought to get in here. And also, as you can see, these barriers, the white and yellow barriers, are un undestructible. So you kind of have to avoid them here on Trucker Speedway. But yeah, it's pretty simple stuff, you know. So next up, we got the final airship to emote. I go to the one on Tilted and loot lake between tilted and loot lake well basically loot lake and yeah that is the final location we could have done this on the other match i was basically here at the other time and there are two other locations but you know you only need three and they are not on this path that we're going here so next we get we need a boat here on loot lake i got lucky that this boat is right here but if there's not a boat here where I get it, I'm sure there's a boat somewhere in Loot Lake. Now all you have to do is bring that boat to the zero point, which is where the collider was. And now it's all water. The zero point is sunken in the water. And that is another challenge. Easy stuff. Now for the last challenge, we need to damage opponents with the DMR. We need to do 200 damage. You know, this is one I couldn't find in my first match. But I finally found it here. I got a green one and it did 48 damage per body shot. Took me a few shots here, but you know, nothing crazy. I think right now there are no IO guards or any any AI we can do this on to make it easier, I think. But I am sure you can do this. You know, if you're having trouble, do it on Team Rumble so that you can respawn and make this even. But anyway, that is it, guys. You know, that is week one, proper week of challenges, quests. Once again, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we'll be making a character's guide for the season. I actually already made it. I'm probably publishing it tomorrow. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Use code Avignon at Epic Game Store in the Fortnite item shop. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Goodbye.